Well, it's time for me to build a chair to sit in. And I like the uh, Native American Indian style lounge chair. And to build one of those, the first thing you need is 36 staves. And I'm, I'm using the uh, stems from the sawtooth palmetto fronds. And then a couple of vines. And that's really all you need. I'm going to show you how to build one of these chairs. And one of the tools I use is this stone punch right here. And it's excellent for splitting wood and other jobs. The first step to building one of the chairs is you got to put a split in the frond right in the center. Quite simply, all you do is you just take your blade and press it right into the center of the front. And you, you, you probably open the split in it just like that. Okay, you see the split? Now I got to do all 36 of them that way. And once all your fronds are split, uh, you take the longest ones, and they go all the way towards the bottom. And what you do is you you spread out the split, and you thread each one of them onto the vine. And you work them all the way down to the other end. You'll do all 36 of them that way. It should gradually get shorter as as you go to the top, which is the loop right here is the top of it. See? Spread it open. Thread them on one at a time, just like beads. Okay, now that that's done. You see, it kind of resembles the backbone of a fish or something. And when you arrange these, you should leave about 21 millimeters or, a, or, or one inch of space in between each each of the fronds. Now I got to finish the sides. For that, I'm going to need a couple more vines. Then all you do is just you take the other vine on the outer edge, and just lock them all into place with the vine. Just twist it back and forth. Make sure each frond goes goes through the vine. See, you just, just twist the, the vine around each one so that it grabs onto each one of the fronds. Well, a simple thing, really. Okay, I'll finish this up. And to lock these vines off, all you do is just wrap them back and forth. Like that. And go back up, back up towards the top. And I usually just go until I run out of vine. do both ends that way. 
see it's back and forth and that locks this vine off so it doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't let the fronds come undone all right now I got to do the other side see you just wrap them back and forth like that and that's all you got to do now let's do the other side see you hook it and then you, you weave the slides in okay when it's done kind of looks like that see that's three three vines that come together at the top the sides are woven together it's firmly attached by uh, the vine going through the center of every one of the ribs it's a pretty good chair can't fall apart now let me show you how to set it up. See, main vine goes through the center of each one of the the ribs. And the outer edges are just twisted back and forth, and, and each each rib placed up where the cross is. And you just do it over and over. Then you get here, you got vine tails. You just wrap them back, back and forth through, just like that, and that locks them off. Make sure you have three points of contact at the top. Yeah. The vines loop. Every one of them loops here, loops here. This one loops right here. Three points of contact. First thing I gotta do dig a hole. After my hole's dug, I take a forked branch. See, it's a branch with a fork in it. And I, I hang my, my chair on it. Make sure it's pulled out a little bit. And then, uh, and I just recline back. Now that's a good recliner. I can sit right here by my fire and relax just like I was at home watching TV. And as you can see, the forked stick causes the, the chair to flex uh, like a spring pole. So it's really comfortable. You know, this little camp starting to resemble something more like home. Here's a view of it from the side. See, three vines hung on there. And when you sit in the chair, you sit right on the fronds, and it, it pulls tension on the on the vine. So when you lean against it, it makes a nice stable chair with a, a comfortable back to sit on. And you'll just have to try one to see. Yeah, I won't be at this campsite long enough to build a hammock. But that chair right there, after working hard all day and hunting and fishing and all that, it's nice to have a comfortable chair to sit in. And that's the genuine method for building a bush camp chair. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Hmm.